I'm Esther, your host, and this is an Ujjayi self-care meditation. Today we're going to tap into stepping into your own strength and really getting to know how to create a foundation for yourself that will be there at all times. So we begin with our first inhale, inviting ourselves into the body because a lot of times we will be spending a lot of time in the mind a lot more than we do in the body so inhale through the nose placing the tongue at the roof of the mouth softening the jawline and inhaling through the nose if you find that your nose is stuffed, feel free to grab a tissue, blow your nose, this can always help. Um, So, you know, that's a simple solution as well. And just inhale, feel the oxygen, fill the chest and the abdomen. And then exhale on your own time. Notice where your shoulders are at. Lean back if that is available to you. And just continue to inhale here again inviting your mind into your body noticing if your thoughts or the traffic begins to slow down as i speak and with the support of the music exhaling here inhaling one more time and just knowing that this is a filter filter to calm so this is not here to change your life as in change what's gonna happen today, but rather create support, emotional support for you to be able to go through your day in a healthy way or with the support you need from your own self rather than others. So just like water, we're drinking, we all need hydration. When we choose to drink water from a water filter, what we do is just get cleaner water. So when we inhale, we we are mindful, we are adding a filter to our day that is just creating a little bit more calm, which is supportive to the nervous system. So exhaling here, again, adjust accordingly. So we are gonna try to commit to some stillness if that's available to you. So if you're sitting again, Once you've taken those breaths, once you are in your body more, notice if there is any pain or agitation and if there is any way you can support yourself temperature-wise or cushion-wise. For the ones of you that are doing this while you work, just go about your day and know that your body will adapt according to, to this because your body will recognize the calm So it's definitely encouraged to do it sitting. But just like with music, it can give you that boost if it's a great song. This will create a support system for you. So just notice how you stepped into your day today. Notice what escorted you from the bed when you sat up and placed both feet on the ground Ask yourself, was I in my head more or in my body more? Were you able to feel the sensation of two feet on the ground or was your head already in the kitchen or at the desk or at a meeting? So we're just gonna peel back for a moment. If you take a moment here to ask yourself, what can I do to support myself today, if that was the first thought, what would that be? In Hebrew, there is a quote, and it says, Teva shel adam, shen nimshach acharei ta'avato. Translated as, it's the nature of a person, of a person to be drawn after his desire. A lot of us were taught that that 
We're not supposed to go after our desire and desire is not a healthy thing. But the root word of Teva and the root word of Taiva, so Teva is nature and Taiva is desire, is the same root word. So your desire usually stems from what is natural to you. Now, obviously, there are a lot of toxic behaviors that are, you know, we won't bring into this, but usually are an extension of pain. And pain usually comes from a space where we've neglected to listen to what we truly desire. So what we're going to focus on today is more of a true desire and acknowledging that your true desire is your truth and there is a way to elevate that experience and make it feel supportive so much of the environment that we were raised in is not to listen to our inner space and there's a lack of building that muscle from within but in life itself there's there's a three category there's a three tier category um, to how life how we build life and this is from um, a book it's called I think it's like the wandering the wandering Jew by uh, Rav Yitzchak Ginsburg and he says purpose partner and then life it is so important to know that we need to understand our purpose first and then our partner whatever that is that could be our our you know married partner or our our business partner all those partners show up second after the first after purpose so many of us get lost in the space that we want everything to fit into the partner category without purpose being built so peeling back to desire noticing what desire is thinking about the positivity of desire we're going to build on that for a moment i want you to think about something that makes you feel really really good and when i mean good i don't mean something that takes you into the into the future something that really helps you gravitate into the into the present so if you want to know if something is a healthy um a healthy desire one of the first things is knowing that it brings you into the present complete present it makes you feel all your sensations it makes you honor your body honor your mind and your spirit a really great example of this is a healthy meal a wholesome meal a wholesome meal will have a couple components it will be pleasing to the eye it will be flavorful and it will smell really great that's even before you take it in but then when you begin to eat the nourishment actually feeds you on a dimension of levels so i want you to think about something here in this calmer experience in this calmer state what is something that makes you feel completely whole what is something that makes you feel full what is something that makes you have more respect for yourself It could be brought up in a, in a numerous amount of things. It could be an activity or just something in your day. You know, for a lot of people, it's having a cup of coffee in the morning. And we're going to peel we're going to peel back and come into the sensations of the body and notice what is the support that it creates. Notice if you breathe easier, if your muscles relax, there's less tension. 
there's less worry. So much of what we tap into on a daily basis is being everywhere but here. So notice what it is that brings you into this space. And just ask yourself if there is a way to incorporate more of this sensation in your day through your desires. It goes as deep as even noticing what are the foods that we are attracted to. Um, sometimes we can be in a place where we're like, that food, you know, I just, I can't eat that, or I love something sweet. So it's just tapping into how do you create more of a healthy relationship with a desire rather than create this possessive thing, right? So living in the moment, letting it live through you, allowing yourself to breathe into it. And just thinking about if desire was a healthy thing and is a healthy thing, and you can acknowledge that your desires are real, can you, can you give yourself permission to step into it guilt-free? So going back to what we said before, something that is good for you paired with something you desire will allow you to feel present. So if you want to know if it's something healthy, it's something that allows you to feel very present in the moment. So for so many of us, when we struggle with building on our day or being motivated, it's because there's so many things we do in our day that don't allow us to feel like we are in our bodies, like we are present, like we can respect ourselves more. So just come into the body right now. We're gonna do a body scan really quick. From the space of thinking about something that is very dear to you and something that you genuinely desire. So it could be even something as simple as a bouquet of flowers or a quality cup of coffee or a really great vacation, a clean house, love, a partner, whatever that is. I want you to tap into that space for a moment. Sit with yourself. And from the beginning of the meditation, just notice if your body has shifted and ask yourself if you can come into if you can come into this stillness for a moment again and when i say stillness i just mean physical stillness because a lot of times an emotion or thought will escape our body through a gesture it could even be as simple as folding the arms or shifting the shoulders so just notice where you are create some support for yourself and we're going to go through this body scan with the mindful sensation of whatever that thing you desire and noticing that the support that it creates within because we're going to capture that. And the reason that we do this, just to give it context for anyone new that's joined, is so that we can step into our day actually knowing what it feels like to feel good. So rather than us operating from a negative space of, I have to go into this week, I have to do these things, we can enter from a higher self, a space that we feel better about ourselves, okay? So inhale here through the nose, soften the jawline, relax the eyebrows. We're gonna take an inhale here going to fill the abdomen and the chest and then exhale follow your regular body body rhythm so with your breath you're not trying to accentuate it too much 
we're really leaning into what your natural experience is. And we're gonna start at the head. We're gonna go all the way down the body. And I want you to notice how you can incorporate this peace that you love, this desire into this space. So we're gonna start at the crown of the head. We're gonna come down to the eyes, the nose, the ears, the lips, the chin, and the neck. And inhale here again. And exhale. Noticing where the sensations are easier to relate to and where we are so far from connected to our body. The shoulders. The elbows. The wrists. The palm the fingertips, the chest, the breast, the rib cage, all the organs, the abdomen, the hips, inhale, Softly exhale. The thighs. The knees. Calves. The ankles. The toes. Inhale again. Feel the energy go all the way up your body, all the way to your crown. Exhale, allow that energy to flow back down, all the way down to your toes. And just sit still for a moment here. Give yourself permission to feel that coolness for a moment. Notice if there is the silence available, if there is the support. If there is the presence available, is there a way you can be right here, right now? exactly where you are with one job to experience yourself as whole and complete two feet on the ground Giving yourself permission to genuinely feel those desires, those needs, giving yourself permission to listen to yourself on a deeper level. rather than hearing the voices in your head, becoming the listener,
the observer of your day, the eye of the storm, rather than the storm itself. When we step into our day from that space, with the muscle that we build, because that is a muscle that can be built, we are able to make decisions from a much better space rather than being compulsive with our thoughts or our tasks. We come from a space where we can consult this inner peace. We can consult alignment rather than deficiency. So we make decisions more from a space of feeling whole rather than pieces of us missing. So rather than trying to fill a space, we invite more value into our space. And even routing it that way, routing the thought that way, it's impossible for it not to be good. Because it's an exercise of coming from an internal value rather than I have to or I'm supposed to or it just is. There's so much victimhood that comes with the have to's. There are so many stories that we create that we can feel sorry for ourselves for. Really coming from, you know, the, the broken child space. And we can operate from that space. A lot of us do. But when we decide to come to the conclusion that I'm going to try, just try to step into this space from this, the place of the adult, right? I'm going to try to be the adult here. What happens then? And usually when we step into it from that space, we're stepping in from a higher self, from a whole place, a complete place, rather than deficient place. And usually we're guaranteed a much better result because we're attracting a much healthier energy into our life. We're holding space for a much healthier energy in our life. So it doesn't mean that things don't go right and everything's gonna and everything's gonna work out and everything will be okay, but it come, it's more from a space of, I'm gonna hold space from, for this and it invites more wholeness in. Because the way we see something is, is all about perspective. If we're in a good mood, a lot of times everything seems good and we can gloss over some of the challenges that we run into. But if we're in a bad mood, a lot of times everything seems wrong and negative. So this works the same way. When we enter the day from a space of wholeness, trusting that the desires that show up in our lives are true, and they come from the essence of who we are. And we can create trust within rather than say, oh, that's unnecessary, right? It's always about context. So as
as those desires show up, it's saying, okay, what is at the root of this? Bringing us completely into the present. Then we are guaranteed. We are guaranteed a better day because when we are fully present, right? We make the best decisions. When our body and our mind are connected, we make the best decisions. So it's so important to know that as we curate our day, and a lot of us have a lot of things we have to do in our day, but knowing that elevating, coming from the place of you want to, showing up as the adult, initiating, coming from that space will guarantee that by being fully present, right? It'll guarantee presence because when we love something, we are fully present. So we can always make better decisions from that space rather than a space that we're shut down. So let that encourage you as you move through your day to just ask yourself, instead of how can I be more present, ask yourself, how can I make myself more comfortable in my own body? What will allow my mind and body to connect on a deeper level? And from there, you're guaranteed a much deeper connection with yourself, which will create this synchronicity that will connect you with others and the universe as a whole and your higher power. So thank you so much for joining today. Thank you for taking this journey with me and tapping into the foundation of this experience. I'm Esther, your host, and this is a Ujjayi self-care meditation available on all platforms.